There were also women among the Nazi criminals who came to the dock after the fall of the Third Reich. One of them, Maria Mandel, nicknamed the Beast, surpassed many men in cruelty and cynicism. Her direct involvement in the extermination of more than half a million female prisoners in concentration camps has been proven. Maria Mandel was born in 1912 in Austria-Hungary. Her father was a shoemaker. After graduating from elementary school, Maria lived in Switzerland for a while, then served as a postal employee in Austria. In September 1938, Maria Mandel moved to Munich, and on October 15 of the same year she got a job as a guard at the Lichtenberg concentration camp in the province of Saxony. It was one of the first concentration camps in Germany. Maria Mandel worked there among the women who were part of the SS auxiliary services. Maria Mandel quickly made a good impression on the management. In May 1939, she was transferred to Ravensbrück, where she subsequently received the position of senior supervisor. Her duties included conducting daily formations and roll calls, giving tasks to prisoners, organizing punishments, including beatings. On April 1, 1941, Mandel joined the Nazi party. This opened the door to her career growth. In October 1942, Maria Mandel was appointed head of the auschwitz birkenau women's camps. The complex was located on the territory of Poland, 60 kilometers from Krakow. Many people are more familiar with the Polish name of this death factory, Auschwitz. It was there that Dr. Mengel conducted monstrous experiments on humans. SS Obastan Banfira Maria Mandel controlled all Auschwitz women's camps. She had unlimited power over all female prisoners. Beating and humiliating helpless victims gave her sadistic pleasure. The prisoners did not call her anything but a beast or a monster. Maria Mandel was distinguished by the fact that without a shadow of a doubt she ordered to kill on the spot any woman passing by who had the temerity to look at her. The head of the camp approved the list of prisoners to be liquidated. She sent more than half a million women and children to the gas chambers of Auschwitz. For the differences before the Reich, Mandel was awarded the cross for military merit of the second degree. Maria Mandel liked to choose pets among the Jewish prisoners for entertainment. She made them do her errands or walk around the camp. The animals quickly bored the woman, after which they immediately went to the gas chamber. Maria Mandel took genuine pleasure in the selection of victims from among the prisoners to be sent to the gas chambers. She especially liked working with children. Parishion Cabre singer Fania Fenelan in the book Memoir Playing for Time says that once after arriving at the camp of transport from Poland, a little boy ran out of the queue waiting for the decision of his fate. He could barely walk, but he went to meet Maria Mandel, who was famous for her particular cruelty to women with young children. She did not throw the child away, but gently took him in her arms and carried him to her. Maria Mandel dressed the baby in beautiful things and took him everywhere with her. But five days later the boy disappeared. The fun got boring, and the child got on the list for destruction. In 1944, Maria Mandel was transferred to one of the camps of the dachau Mordov complex. After the arrival of the Allies, she fled to the mountains, to her homeland, but in August 1945 she was detained by the U.S. Army and handed over to Poland. After the first Auschwitz trial, Maria Mandel was sentenced to death. The execution took place in January 1948 in the Krakow prison.